right, Weekend Modder here uh, with a quick video I wanted to share out with you guys to um, talk about a little bit of the differences between being bricked and just having bad dash launch settings. This particular console belongs to Ryan K of Tennessee, and Ryan sent this console in for the basic bricked RGH service, meaning he thought he had bad flashed his NAND, right, and that it wasn't behaving properly. So I'm going to show you what it's doing just as I received the console. I have not done anything to fix it yet. So I just powered it on, we get a successful boot, the console starts to come on, and then it just powers off, right? The thing just shuts down. So maybe reasonable thought to think that the, the console is messed up some way, Ryan, I, I would understand that. The problem is if you know a little bit about this, you can tell that during the screen that it was updating and running off to, that's the time when it's loading all your different dash launch plugins and stuff. So I'm gonna teach you how to fix this without even any sort of need to open up or, or, or override your console in any way. Now this console does not have a hard drive plugged in it, so it must have a four gig onboard memory module. This will work whether you're using a hard drive or whatever. Um, so take any generic USB stick. This is a super cheapo, uh, four gig USB, and I'm just going to plug it into my PC here. And uh, just to show you, the, P the, the thing shows up here is drive letter H. So just to prove that it doesn't matter what was on there before, I'm right clicking on that and I'm going to go down to format. And then at the basic format options here, I'm just going to say start. And then it asks me to confirm. I'm just saying, okay. So it's formatting the USB and then we get a nice little confirmation. So it's FAT32, that is one thing that you do wanna make sure that it's not MTFS, that it's FAT32, and that I just formatted it. So now if I go ahead and reopen, and I look at my drive letter H, so I'm gonna come in there, and then up here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new text file. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go down to new, and then I'm gonna to go to text document. Then at the file name, what, what you can see here is that it defaults to new document.txt. And what, what you want to do is create a file here uh, named launch dot ini. So launch.ini. And you don't want the text to be in there. So the file should be named just plain old launch.ini. And actually, if we were to open that file, we'd find out that it's completely blank inside. It has no content whatsoever. So now I'm just gonna go back down to my H drive. I'm just gonna right click and go to eject just to make it so it can be safely removed. I'll pull the USB stick and now check this out. When I put the USB stick in uh, with the blank launch.ini, when I power up the console this time, So it's taken just a few moments to boot here. No problem. If the microphone's picking it up, you probably are hearing that high pitch noise that comes out of the fan in some Coronas, depending on how they were glitched. Totally normal. There it goes. It took five or six glitch cycles that time. So there's the boot. There's it starting up. And guess what you're not going to see? You're not going to see it freak out and go to black. That is because the way that uh, Dash Launch is coded is it always defaults to using the launch.ini file on USB first for this very reason. So now with the blank launch.ini, it didn't try to load any of those funky plugins or anything, and the console booted up normally. Now from here, what I could do is go into my games menu, launch XEX menu, move over to freestyle, do whatever I need to do. Clean up the old launch.ini file, delete it, do whatever. Um, but that's how this is unbricked and fixed uh, with without even needing to open the console. This, this, this thing will be just fine. Uh, so Ryan, uh, your console is fine. Good news, it wasn't actually bricked. But so just so everybody else knows, that is the method of creating a blank launch.ini that will get you out of that boot loop um, and on a USB. So thanks for watching.